afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Midweek Movement Break. I thought that I would um, go live and bring you a little bit of movement for your shoulders because who couldn't use, oh my gosh, Facebook keeps giving me all these little pop-ups that I don't wanna see. Who couldn't use a little more movement for the shoulders? I can, for sure. Maybe you can too. Um, so we'll do three different movements, nothing super complicated, but you might be surprised at the results that you get. So we're gonna start, bring your left arm out. I've got my trusty studio assistant here snoozing. Bring your left arm out. I want you to imagine that you are holding a glass of water. Your arm is gonna stay straight. And from your shoulder, you are gonna pour that water out behind you and then pour the water out in front of you. Now, as you're doing this, make sure that your rib cage stays nice and quiet. So we're not arching the back and rounding the back. It's all staying still. You're just pouring out and back, pouring out in front of you. And just notice, I don't want you to, um, I think it's Jill Miller who says, mid range is the new end range. Like you don't force be like, well, I can go that far. Go where you can go with total ease. That's where your body is going to feel like, ooh, that feels really delicious and not, ow, why am I doing that? So the next time that you spin into what is external rotation, you pour in the water out behind you, let your hands go straight and bend your fingers down and you'll feel something probably. And if you want to, you can think about reaching that palm towards whatever object is just beyond your reach. And if it makes your fingers tingle, you can drop your hand down and even bring your arm to the front a little bit. That will lessen the intensity. This is an intense one for me. I'm doing a mirroring you. So this is my right side and it's plenty sensational. Okay, now bring that up. You're gonna go pour it out in front of you and make a fist and then bring that fist towards the bottom side of your wrist. And that will give you a different stretch sensation. And watch out if you're starting to like crank up in your shoulder, make sure that it stays nice and easy. I think all of the typing and piano playing and knitting that I do really, um, means that I get some crankiness in my body. And in fact, I'm dealing with a little bit of tendonitis in my elbows. Let that side come down and let's do the other side. Most of us have things like that going on in our body. So hold your glass of water, pour it out on your dog's face, <laughs> pour it behind you and just move nice and slowly, making sure that it's not your wrist that's doing the work. It's not just your elbow, it's all the way up. That upper arm bone is spinning. Many times when we have issues in the wrists and in the shoulders, you end up with, I mean, sorry, in the wrists and the elbows, I got distracted by the fact that someone just turned on their lawnmower. Um, you end up with, um, you have issues in your shoulder that are leading to the wrist and elbow problems. So if you can tackle your shoulder and get things moving better, particularly your shoulder blade on the rib cage and the arm bone and the upper, area you can get things better oh my gosh i hope that's not super loud in the background i don't know how much uh airpods pick up background noise so let's spin and dump that water out behind you and then flex your fingers down Woo! i really feel this one and make sure you breathe. It's easy to hold the breath when you get into places where you have sensation. If you think about um, the pain scale of one to 10, I want you to keep your sensation on about a three and don't go greater than that. And then let them come up and we'll pour it out in front of us, make a fist and then bring that fist down towards your wrist. All right, then let that one go. Now, for the next move, you're gonna to wanna to have either a blanket or a pillow. So I've been sitting on a blanket and I'm gonna move my bolster. You could do what we just did sitting in a chair or on a piano bench. You don't have to be sitting on the floor, but I'm gonna fold this up and then I'm gonna come down and lie on my side. And I'm gonna take my glasses off and hopefully you'll still be able to hear me okay. 
So I'm going to straighten my bottom leg and let my top knee come to the floor. So that kind of locks my um, locks my pelvis in place so it's not going to move. And I'm going to stack my palms up. And I've got the blanket sort of at the edge of my head. I'm going to slide my top palm past my bottom one, which is going to eventually pull a little bit of rotation into my body. And then I'm going to slide it back up. So this is really about starting the motion at the inner edge of your shoulder blade and then letting that pull, 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 pull into the rest of your body and causing some turn and then coming back. <laughs> oh, the life of suburbia where we've got lawn, giant lawn equipment on people's yards all the time. And then come on back. We'll do this one more time. I call this the Charlie, Charlie's Angels stretch. And then you're going to bring your hands down. If you've ever seen, and we'll do the same thing. If you've ever seen the um, Charlie's Angels graphic, one of them has their hands pointed down, one of them has them pointed up, and the other one has them pointed straight ahead. So now you're kind of moving the angle that you're creating this rotation at. <laughs> and we have helicopters. You guys are getting the full impact of um, Greater Boston Suburbia today. We live not far from the Massachusetts Emergency Management Center, MEMA. And so very frequently when the governor is coming out, he flies on a helicopter and we hear it go overhead. That may be what's happening. Okay. And then bring your arms up, angle them up towards the top of your mat and same thing, reach. Let your torso turn and then slide your hands back and reach and turn. You kind of let your head smash into the blanket or pillow. And you want to watch to make sure that your elbow isn't bending. When we don't have good mobility in the shoulder, we'll do things like start to pull the arm back and the elbow bends like I'm showing you right now. And that's just your body being a little reluctant to expend the extra energy that it needs to make the shoulder work. We are designed to be quite energy efficient and we are reluctant to move in other ways. Okay. I'm going to come up and flip end to end. You can stay right where you are and just roll over onto the other side of your back. So come down onto your pillow or your blanket, whatever you've got. We're going to straighten that bottom leg, bring the top knee to the floor and extend your hands out. And same thing, they're going to be right at shoulder height and slide that top palm past, let it pull your face down and then slide it the other way. We're gonna do a version of this sitting up next. Let's do one more in this direction. So maybe three to five times if you wanna slow it down and do this another, another time or pause it. And then heading the hands down, let your torso and your head roll, but initiate it with the arm, let the arm go first. And when it hits the end point, then it pulls everything with it and then come back up. One more time here. And then angle your arms up. And same thing, slide it, let the arm go, head and ribs follow, and then slide on back. And let's do one more time after this. And then you can make your way back up to sit. Now you can sit right on the floor or you can sit on a chair. I like to sit up on a bolster because I have, um, it just makes it a little easier on my right hip. Okay, so come up to sit and then extend your arms out in front of you. So they're basically parallel to one another right at shoulder height. And you're gonna start, we'll take your right arm and reach it, reach it past the left. And eventually it's gonna go so much that your ribs are gonna turn and you're gonna to start to draw the other arm back. This is like pulling back on a bow and you're gonna extend your arms behind you, release the bow, come back forward, parallel arms, reach the other arm past, draw back on the bow and just slowly move between the two. You might find that one side, you can move a lot more easily. 
I know that is true for me going this way. And then when I come back and I go the other way, it's a lot less easy to move. So remember, mid range is the new end range. This is not about going as far as you can, getting the biggest sensation that you can. It's really about honoring what does your body want to do today that feels really good. And let's do one more each side. So last time going this way. Reach, 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 pull back, go this way. And then just let your arms come down, give your shoulders a little roll. You did some movement for your body today. I hope your shoulders feel great. Let me know how it went for you.